Part 4 Directions You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following radio advertisement. Need to renew your winter wardrobe for the months ahead? Then get down to the Trend Point sale, where you'll find men's, women's, and children's seasonal fashions at up to 50% off. Trend Point is closing down, and everything must go. So don't miss your last chance to visit us and top up your wardrobe at a bargain price. Sale ends Friday, so don't delay. Number 71. What type of products does Trend Point stock? Number 72. Why is the store holding a sale? Number 73. When does the sale end? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your new starters induction course here at Carlston Motors. I'm Hattie Cook, head of training at the plant. We'll begin this morning by showing you around the plant and getting you accustomed to how we work here. As you'll see, we use the latest state of the art procedures and equipment here, all of which you'll be learning about. Before we go into the plant, let's run through some health and safety regulations that you need to know. Number 74. Who is the talk intended for? Number 75. What does the speaker say about the plant? Number 76. What will the listeners most likely do next? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following introduction. Hello and welcome to the Arkwright Conference Center. Thank you for coming tonight to the third in our series of seminars on managing your personal finances. Today's speaker is Tony Hughes. Tony is a former banker who now devotes all his time to writing and speaking about personal finance issues. His latest book, Take Control of Your Money Today, Is a bestseller. The topic of his talk today is how to maximize your savings returns in an environment of low interest rates. And if you want to listen to the seminar again at home, we'll be posting a podcast on our website. Number 77. Where is the seminar taking place? Number 78. What is the topic of the seminar? Number 79. What will be available on a website? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Good morning. My name's Diana and I'm calling from the Hereford News. We have a special offer this month that you may be interested in taking advantage of. As a long term advertiser with us, you can claim an additional two weeks of ad publication for every new ad that you place this month. I'm going to put some further information in the mail for you. Please get in touch if you'd like to take up this great offer. 
Number eighty. What type of company does the speaker work at? Number eighty-one. Why is the speaker calling? Number eighty-two. What will the speaker do? Questions eighty-three through eighty-five refer to the following talk. As you know, we'll have the food, health, and safety inspectors coming in sometime this week. So, before we begin tonight's shift, I need to remind you all of some important aspects of our hygiene policy. Kitchen staff should always wash their hands thoroughly with soap and hot water after handling raw meat or fish. Correct clothing should be worn at all times. Front of house staff should never enter the kitchen, and those with long hair should have it tied back. Any questions about do's and don'ts? Please ask the shift manager. Number eighty-three. Where most likely is the talk taking place? Number eighty-four. What is the talk mainly about? Number eighty-five. When should the listeners consult a manager? Questions eighty-six through eighty-eight refer to the following recorded message. Thank you for calling Ali Logistics. Your call is important to us. We are currently experiencing higher than usual call numbers. None of our operators are available right now to take your call. Please listen to the following options, which may be able to address your inquiry. Press one for credit balance. Press two to retrieve your account login details. Press three for service outage information. To speak to a customer services representative, hold the line. The current waiting time is four minutes. Number eighty-six. Why are callers unable to speak with a representative straight away? Number eighty-seven. Why should callers press two on their phones? Number eighty-eight. What should callers do to talk with a staff member? Go on to the next page. Questions eighty-nine through ninety-one refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Holly Miller. I hired your building firm last month to relay my driveway. Everything was fine at first, but after all the heavy rain we've had recently, I've noticed quite a few cracks. I'd appreciate it if you could send someone quickly to do something about this, as it seems to be getting worse all the time. I'm out of the office most of the day today, so please leave a message for me with my assistant Paul. You can reach him at five five five. Eight nine one one. Thank you. Number eighty nine. What kind of firm is the speaker calling? Number ninety. What problem does the speaker have? Number ninety-one. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions ninety-two through ninety-four refer to the following announcement. 
First, today I need to let you know that we'll be having a new server put in next Wednesday. The new server will allow us to transfer files much more quickly. It will also have a much greater capacity. So, it will be very helpful when we're working on our new software at the end of the year. The installation will take most of the day and will need to be tested before going online. As we won't be able to use the server for most, if not all, of the day, some of us will need to stay late to complete our work that day. Would anyone like to volunteer? Number 92. What is the announcement mainly about? Number 93. Where do the listeners probably work? Number 94. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. Before we proceed, I'd like to introduce our newest employee, Richard Blunt. Richard joins us from Coates Partners, where he worked for five years on Coates' innovative internet marketing strategy. He is also an occasional lecturer at the Central Marketing Institute. I'm sure you'll all agree that it's fantastic for us to have someone of Richard's expertise working here with us. He'll be heading up a review of our digital marketing strategy, and he'll be needing lots of input from all of us. If you'd like to participate directly in the working group that Richard's going to set up, please tell your manager. Number 95. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 96. What is Mr. Blunt's specialty? Number 97. According to the speaker, why should the listeners talk with their managers? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk. Welcome to your audio guide for the Hatchet Museum of Art. The artworks you'll see today represent some of the best contemporary pieces in the country today. All artworks have been given free of charge by local benefactors. You can use this guide by entering the three digit number you'll see beside each picture into your device. The device will then play the audio content relevant to the picture. Please enjoy your visit to the museum today and remember to give your audio guide back to an attendant when leaving the building. Number 98. What can the listeners view at the museum? Number 99. According to the speaker, where did the exhibits come from? Number 100. What are the listeners asked to do? This is the end of the listening comprehension portion of the test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book.